Now, OG gonna tell y'all something now. It's been a lot of fads since we used to call them back in, back in the gap. A lot of them, y'all. You know, especially when it came to women MCs. Now, I've been, you know, following the story about the young lady that, that lost herself at the, uh, at a grand opening at a beauty supply store. God bless, bless her family in their time of bereavement. And I mean that. It's not sarcasm. But looking at the black female hip hop rap scene, I'm not shocked. Black women, y'all are giving y'all very, very best to dehumanize, disrespect, and violate one another. Maybe I'm just from the, that MC like Queen Latifah, Salt Pepper, Yo Yo, um, the Brad, you know, my all time favorite, the, the Brad, Funkified, favorite MC. And I promise y'all, they were very, very, still are legends. And they didn't have to say and do none of that stuff y'all doing. But I want y'all to ask y'all self about the other coin, the other side of the coin. I want y'all to ask y'all self about, where's Foxy Brown? Have y'all actually really looked at how Lil' Kim has turned out? Sukiyana didn't even know that she was considered an artist, y'all. And she wasn't playing. She was offended. We got a young black mother out here that boasts about her PP and her, her booty hole brown, something like that. Y'all around here singing it. So no, I'm not surprised that that energy, man, that's coming back to our young ladies. And I'm going to ask y'all this, and I'm going to let y'all go. Where are they getting that from? Who are they promoters? Who are they managers? Really, seriously. Because they cannot be going off a of hip-hop royalty like the Brad, Queen Latifah, and on and on. You cannot be talking about hip-hop royalty, Megan. As much as I love, man, Megan Thee Stallion is so beautiful to me. She is just simply gorgeous. I love everything about her. But her music sucks. Brandy and them didn't have to do that. <laughs> Monica and them didn't have to do that. Faith Evans and them didn't have to do that. Uh, SWV didn't have to do that. And they sold... TLC didn't have to do that and they made millions. Who are they managers? Because I don't. I, I listen, I'm a black man and I raise black children. I understand that our youngers are totally, totally out of the way. But for this young woman to actually go on a man's podcast, and she wasn't set up. You could tell with the flow of the interview. You could tell by the flow of the conversation in the interview that, you know, this was gonna be a conversation. So he didn't he didn't um, catch off guard and just bring it up. It was all planned, and that's what they paid her to do. What she did, and it cost her because you can't do that. And I know that she's seeing a lot of guys in the street doing that, but they're not successfully doing that. And we have to be honest about that. No matter how bereaved and hurtful of a situation is here, what she was doing and how she was promoting another human being, regardless of the circumstances, let's be honest, black folk, we don't do that.
we have got to get to the point where these black women is sort of running around and trying to tell these women they have more concern about a dinner date than where to teach them some virtues. Because this is not history. This is not indicative of um, hip hop, rap when it comes to the black female. This, this, I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> no, we didn't have to worry about reading no, no, no nothing about nothing happening to no Queen Latifah, no MC Light, no Salt and Pepper, no, 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 we didn't, y'all. And they did great, and they are living legends right today. How are y'all allowing these people to promote y'all little girls out here like this, man? And be okay. Is it just this? Because I guarantee you, ain't no wealth in what Sexy Red doing. She can get some money, but it ain't no wealth. Because with more money come problems. Meaning I eat taxes, insurance, all that. She's actually running a business. And I pray that she's not like a those type of genre of artists that's just for a season. If she don't change her music, it's just for a season. Listen, y'all, don't forget to hit that like button, respectfully comment, because we can talk about it, man. It's just a bad situation, man, and y'all know for a fact that this is not, this is not black, female, hip hop rap history and our living legacies in the game didn't promote none of this I'm out